Well, well, well. Okay, so, as the title says, this just needs to be a conversation, just to be honest. Everybody needs to have this. Jenning and VGC is cheating. That's it. That's the video. That's all I need to say. That That's really it. Like, just to... I was planning on making, like, a really long-form video, just kind of, like, addressing some of the arguments and points I'm saying, because, like, some of the stuff I'm saying is pretty stupid and really illogical arguments and stuff like that, but, like, anybody familiar with my channel, unless this is the first time you see me, I gin, I run a Discord, I run bots, all this other stuff. I support ginning in VGC. I have no problem with it. However, I feel like a lot of, and not a lot of VGC players, but, like, there's a lot of loud VGC players that are really making some really dumb arguments about this whole thing. And again, regardless of how you feel about Jenning, regardless of how you feel about like um, the availability of games and stuff like that, if it's in the rules for you to not use modified Pokemon and you agree to these rules when you sign up for tournaments and stuff like that, if you get caught doing this, it's your fault. It's it's really that simple. It is literally just your fault. Have some self accountability and just own up to it. But like, man, the things I'm seeing is just like a lot of people are kind of like, and I, I feel like people are always just a, a Pika Hex Kurt Shield. Like, no, it's just it's just stupid arguments. People are like, oh well, Kurt shouldn't make Pika Hex if he doesn't want people cheating. I'm like, there's other ways for people to create Pokemon besides Pika Hex. And the thing is like. Y'all that are ginning in VGC are a minority of the people that use, like, PKX for themselves. So, it's really, like, super self-centered when I hear P VGC players come out and say, well, Kurt just needs to stop updating it. Kurt needs to cut this out of the program. Kurt needs to do that. When I'm just like, are you that up your own ass to the point where you think that because you guys break the rules that you sign up for that you should just ruin it for everybody that's a really and these are adults these are adults like this isn't like eight year olds and ten year olds i'm seeing making these arguments these are full-grown adults making these arguments that are just like extremely flawed and make like no logical sense well, like i said and like i've been called an enabler on my video addressing the the home tracker stuff we're like well, you're kind of an enabler because you have a jinx of no just like me just like Kurt, just like anybody who does anything connected with ginning we are not forcing y'all to gin that is a choice y'all as full-grown adults are making we are not just because yes we have the tools to make your life a lot easier does not mean you have to use it not at all it's like the argument is kind of similar and like hopefully this makes sense so let's say you have a class your teacher tells you like, hey, you, this is an online test. Don't go to any other browsers. And so, like, you go to other browsers to get answers for the test. And you get in trouble for it. And then you blame the people who put the answer to the test online. Like, no. You got to have some self-accountability. Self you are not being forced. It's like, you guys are using this whole, like, well, if it's there and I use it, it's fine if I use it. It's not my fault. Like, it's just, it's super illogical arguments that, I, like, I just, I don't know how you can be in a full-grown adult and make these points. Like, it's just, that's just the way life is. Again, like I said, I fully support vending in VGC. I fully do. I understand the reasons behind it. I understand, like, yes, you, you, want, you want to have your life. People work, they have school, they have other things. They want to be able to gen Pokemon to be able to make their life a little bit easier. And I get that. And this is a fault of Pokemon to the point where literally breeding is a barrier of entry to competitive Pokemon. Where you got to play the game, you got to buy X amount of games, you got to do this and that. That is a barrier of entry to getting into Pokemon competitive scene compared to other games like Fortnite where it's just like... You got to have, well, you got a system, you got a game, but it's just like, there's not these extra steps that you got to go through. You don't have to actually play a full game of, like, some kind of Fortnite campaign before you can actually get into the competitive scene. No, you can just jump straight in, and you get better as you play, because it's a very kind of, like, even playing field, and stuff like that, where it's just, like, really skill, and a degree of luck really does matter. 
But when it comes to Pokemon, you have to actually, to a degree, play the game. And, like, I fully advocate and fully support anyone that says that, hey, we need to have a some kind of simulator. Fully support that. I think that is what we need completely. But that doesn't mean, okay, these are the faults of Pokemon, but let's blame the other people. It, it's just super disingenuous and super immature. That It really is. And it's like, even if Kurt didn't have PKX... Like, like I said before, there are other ways to create your own Pokemon. If Kurt just stopped Pikachu completely, someone else would just restart it. Every single game, every major game, has some kind of, like, hacking system behind it. But Pokemon is one where, like, this hacking can also affect other players. There's all these games you can modify, mod packs, etc. All these things exist for other games. So it's, it's a really limited point of view to act like Pokemon is just this this trailblazer when it comes to like games being hacked it's just it's such simple thinking but it's just like you really gotta understand it like again for probably the fifth time i said in this video if you broke the rules own up to it that's on you if you come to my server and you gen some pokemon you get caught in a vgc tournament and you start getting mad at me like larry you shouldn't have bots up because i got caught that's not my fault. That's not my fault. And, like, I know people get mad at Kurt's posts, like, oh, he's making fun of us, blah, blah, We all make fun of you. Everybody that has a Discord bot and stuff like that, we all make fun of you. Because, in literally, you should take what Kurt posts as a way to hack better. Because the thing is, with some of the things that they do, like using, like, a base Pokemon. Like, let's say you want to make a whole team, and instead of just making each Pokemon uniquely... You take one Pokemon and you just keep copying over it over and over and over again to the point where you have a lot of similar data. That takes longer to do because when you do that, you have to make certain edits. It takes more effort to do that as opposed to just sending something into ALM and then you're good. Like literally, you have to put in more time to gen badly than it is to just gen properly. That's the thing I don't understand. And with the home tracker stuff, We've known that if you have something with an improper home like tracker or home data, et cetera, whatever you want to call it, this stuff has been getting flagged in home ever since home came out. If you look at my old video, not old video, my recent video with like the Pokeball up top, that's always been a thing. That has always been a thing, always been a dead giveaway for stuff like for uh knowing if like something has invalid home data. But yet these players, when VGC decided, like, hey, you can use whatever you want, no stamps or whatever, they decided to ignore all of these things that Pokemon put right in front of our faces to tell you this is not right. And they did it anyways. Some of them got emails, and they did it anyways. But yet, no, it's PKX's problem. It's the fault of the people who run bots. Grow up, have some self-accountability, and get your own shit to I can't curse in this video. And get your own stuff together. This is probably demonetized, but this is really late in the video, so it doesn't matter. And understand that like you are adults. Like if these are children, like I said, I wouldn't even engage with these conversations. But it, like, man, between like little breaks with work and stuff like that, I've been like jumping in with like little conversations on Twitter and seeing like the stupid stuff they say. Like one dude compared it to like slavery. And I'm just like, dude, like what is wrong with y'all? Like, seriously, what is wrong with y'all? And it's like, again, like, own up to it. But the moral of the story, if Pokemon says, don't do this, you agree to not do that, and you do it anyways, that's your fault. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, and like I said, I always ask this all the time. If you want to actually sit down and have a conversation with me about this stuff, I'm always open to it. No one ever takes me up on that. It's like, I don't know why. But yeah, that's all I really got to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and y'all have a good